Howdy folks and welcome back to the channel. It's Kato again with another look at the Moon Studios Raiden Combiner, or Radiotron Combiner. This one is MS-01 Dark Knight. It's their take on a G1 Transformers Getsue. If I said that wrong, apologize. That's just how I know to pronounce it. So from here on out, I'm just going to call it Dark Knight because I don't know enough about the train bots to educate anyone on anything. I just know that so far they look pretty cool. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're going to roll the intro and start looking at Moon Studios MS-01 Dark Knight Getsue. It's Kato! Like always, the first thing I'll do is take a look at the packaging, and just like MS-02, it is a full splash page with robot mode, alt mode, MS-01, Dark Knight. On the side, you've got robot mode. On this side, you've got the alt mode, which it, is, it really is beautiful. Here on the back, you've got robot mode, front and back, leg mode, which I will probably go over here in uh, transformation, even though it's a bit of a bear. Not too bad, but more complicated than the previous. And alt mode with some Lego or Duplo tracks here on the bottom. Let's see what's inside. First thing you'll notice when you open the box, other than the actual robot, is this leg piece here. Uh, it, again, just like, I believe it's the exact same that came with Iceland. But you have a handle here if you want to put it in his hand. And it will peg on the top of the train, uh, on the side of the leg. And you can even peg it onto his back if you want. That's that's where I store this piece when he's in robot mode. Hollow plastic, just like we got with uh, Iceland. You have his gun, a little bit of red paint there. Different gun than we got with Iceland, so that's good. But it does have that kind of matchy-matchy red along the side here. The rest of it is that uh, black plastic with what looks like a clear coat over it. And just like with Iceland, you can store it right here. And again, just like Iceland, and what I feel like is going to come with all of these, you get the magnetic uh, coupler. You can might be able to hear the magnet in there. But yeah, just couples in and slide in there to lock it in place. Very neat idea. I think that's very cool. And you get the instructions, which are pretty good, but very small. That's what she said. But yeah, it's it's they're not very useful at all. And that takes us right into Dark Knight. And I'm going to try to get through this pretty quickly because I have a feeling transformation may take a while. But we'll see what ends up in editing. You've got that killer head sculpt there. He looks very kind. Got those kind eyes on a ball joint. So you can look up and down pretty well. And some side to side there as well. And 360 around. And the little antenna here will go back and forth i think most of that is due just for transformation safety so you don't break anything but he looks very cool with those light eyes in there going down the body you've got blue a little bit of yellow translucent and red translucent plastic there going all the way down blue there's a good bit of die cast i don't really feel any here but uh, the joints here there's the joints inside and uh, the legs See, I don't know if there's as much die cast in this as there was with Iceland. The feet are, anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself, but yeah. So you've got the chest, translucent plastic. You've got rotation at the waist. And just like Iceland, if you undo this tab right here, uh, you can get yourself a bit of ab crunch. It's, there's no joint there, so it's very loose, but you can use it for ab crunch if you want and you get waist rotation. It will do a 360, but you need to loosen or bring this part out here, the backpack, so you can get some clearance. Otherwise, it's going to lock itself up right there. On the arms, they look... Now, I'm going to go ahead and say this. I really thought that this was really just going to be a straight-up redeco of Iceland, but with a little bit of different feet transformation. And that's about 80% true. The hands transform a little different. I'll go over that. But cosmetically, they did a good job of making them look the same. So you've got plastic all through here. You have an, a double hinged 
elbow and rotation 360 and lift up there. You can also uh, tilt a bit out at this joint. Just move this piece up here. You've got rotation at the bicep. It's really tight. And just like Iceland, you've got there, transformation. You've got rotation here at the wrist and articulated fingers, including a ball joint and a hinge here at the thumb, ball joints at the base knuckle here, and a hinge at the mid knuckle there. So you can make a fist with it. So, but no in and out or anything like that. Coming down to the legs, like I said, I don't, I don't think this is die cast. It feels more plastic, but I could be wrong. What do I know? Lift the skirts up and you can get the legs to kick straight out. Back all the way. Uh, friction joint in the legs, but this one, uh, yeah, it's about the same as Iceland. Once you, yeah, not very, not very tight right there because these feet are very heavy. You've got a nice 90 degree knee bend there and ankle tilt as much as you want. And you can go up and down a bit if you extend that transformation joint out there. Not much in the way of toe tilt because of how it sits against the leg there. So articulation is, is pretty good. You also can extend the transformation joint. This is the joint that you would use as an ankle tilt in uh, foot mode or leg mode. But if you wanted to, you could use that for something ah, there and just get that right back in place. There you go. That's your look at Getsui Dark Knight in robot mode. Backpack cleans up pretty well. I, I think it looks great in robot mode. Here the two are side by side and they are starting to look like a really good team. Again, they look similar enough, but once I get into transformation, you'll see a bit of difference there. There is Dark Knight next to MP10, standard masterpiece scale. And just because I had him nearby and something that more people would be more familiar with for scale, there is War for Cybertron Ratchet. Now getting into transformation, a lot of these steps are going to be pretty similar to Iceland, but just different enough. You'll get what I mean. First, open the chest. Rotate in the head, close the chest, extend these out, flip this up and you can do that on both. Just extend that out, flip that up. Now I'm going to do the right arm, but you will do the same exact thing to the left arm just for the sake of time. Make a fist like you did with Iceland, which by the way, I wanted to mention these fingers are much more uh, tight, tightly tolerant in a good way than Iceland was. So make a fist, give yourself some room, fold out the arm all the way. You want to open it up as much as you can and with the knuckles in, you want to rotate the wrist all the way in. You also will sort of combiner wars this down where Iceland pushed in and snapped that you're going to just uh, combiner wars in and then close this back up. You're going to take this top joint right here, not the elbow joint. This will be a pegged in joint right here and fold this over until this peg fits in that slot. Just like that. It'll, it'll be, it'll feel a little weird actually, but just like that. And you'll do the same thing to the opposite arm with both arms folded up. You're going to straighten this out and then lift up at the side, come around to the back. You're gonna loosen this up, if you haven't already. Untab here and open this, stretch that out and stretch this out. Just bring all this out here. Then you're gonna bring this whole piece up and just like with Iceland, you're going to tab that in. However, I recommend waiting to do that until after you bring this up, extend that out and bring this over. The reason is you want to give yourself enough play to tab the arms in here to lock that in place. And once you do that, you can lock all this in here. You've got these pieces. 
with a tab and a slot to come right down here to the side. What, oh yeah, make sure you drop that to that point right there so that it will go all the way. Otherwise, you're gonna stress something out and then peg that in. So again, that's how it normally sits and it won't fold all the way in. Bring that all the way up to that position like that. Bring that down and it'll tab into the sides and bring this down to start to complete the top of the train. A lot of this you're going to go back and forth with uh, to untab stuff to get it in a decent position so that you can do it again later because some things are going to tab now that you'll need to untab and readjust and fine tune and just tab all that together there. You're going to bring this down and lock that in here like that bring this down and bring this to right there the wheels just like with iceland again i'm going to say that a lot open these up and you have the option i'm not going to do it here but you can do it to bring these pieces they're on a little hinge that you just roll those out and lock those wheels in place. Again, for the sake of time, I'm only going to do one leg. If you can do one, you can do two. It's the same steps. Go ahead and open this all the way up here. You can actually extend the, le the foot out a bit if you want, just to give yourself some room. And you're going to bring that just like that. On the back side here, fold this all the way out bring this up and bring this down again you're going to move a lot of this once you need to make some room you got this piece here that you're going to bring up and rotate around you can start to see how it's looking but also that it's off kilter and we'll fix that in a bit in the transformation right here lift up there and now there's a slider or a double hinge joint behind this window that you've got to wiggle out. You can see it back there so that you can open that up. Now with the wheel here, you've got to lift this up, fold the wheel all the way out. You'll actually get it to about right there and close Make sure it's all lined up. Close this in on itself and tab the wheel in right there. Now with this gap here, you've got the back of the, the toe here and this double hinge. Swivel this up and then swing this into right there to fill in that gap. And you can bring this part down. And what you're left with is this. So there's a lot of panels. You've got this piece that's gonna tab into here. You've got these pegs are going to tab into the side here. Just make sure that you extend that out so everything lines up to go there. Tab this in here. Again, you're going to have to tab stuff in somewhat temporarily until you're ready to neaten everything up. But you can see where everything's going. And... I'll show you what half of it's going to look like before I complete the other leg off camera. Just like that. There's a rough look at one side before I do the other leg off camera. Just so I don't complete the transformation without letting you know once you get all or both legs done, you're just tabbing everything together much like I showed before that in there this piece right here tabbing this inside here like so and then you're just left with neatening everything up and tabbing everything in it'll all make sense from here you're going to open these wheels up right here and here and you'll lock these in here to complete the whole locking process here for the front of the train.
Yo, I feel like I need to apologize. I don't know if that's going to come across after I edit as messy as I thought it was, but I feel like that was a cluster. Anyway, that it's not really a difficult transformation. It's just super panel-y. And with a lot of these that have so many panels, it's like the minute you try to tighten something else up, one other panel will pop out. But once you get it, it is gorgeous. You've got windows with these wiper blades on the front and back if there is a front and back gray you've got some uh detail work here a bunch of detail work here on the bumper the doors everything looks fantastic when you get it together now there's this is there's gray up front i think i'm going to choose to make this the front of the vehicle but anyway you've got the other side here with more wiper blades more detail i feel like this is the back got some translucent plastic here to be lights it cleans up super nice rolls just fine and there's a look at the other side uh see what i mean like it's it's not this is like the only bit that tends to want to come undone if you don't have it locked in all the way that one little dovetail right there and only for you guys would I go through the punishment of transforming this thing multiple times. But here is Iceland in train mode beside Dark Knight. And they are about the same length. Uh, the little nose here of Iceland peeks out a bit further. This is a big, big set. And for another glance, there is Magic Square's uh, MP scale Optimus Prime. Their Light of Freedom a long train there's something he's roughly two and a half war for cybertron huffers long now getting this guy into leg mode is a good deal more complicated than uh, iceland was some of the steps are very similar but most of them are not so fold all that in and you are gonna have to basically explode about 60 percent of all these tabs here and you'll be fighting a lot of that just i'm gonna run through this fairly quickly if i can uh, here you're gonna bring this up again untab that fold that back in there oh i had a question from a viewer uh last time and i still don't know if i can if there's a place on iceland but the combiner slot here actually fits in right here uh, for storage in uh, leg mode. So that's that's something that I'm not sure Iceland had. But there you go. You're going to bring that back down. Leave that loose for a bit. Split these legs again. I know. That's one thing that Iceland does well is you don't have to split the leg. So again, I'm going to do one leg and we'll go from there. Get all this out of the way here. Bring this up. You're going to bring this leg out of the way again. All right. Open this piece right here. Bring this down. You're going to go back to robot mode here with this bit. But... One of the things you have to do when you bring the leg forward on that, this joint right here, right, for this 90 degree bend for the foot, you're left with this being way too long. There's a little rail inside here that'll allow you to hinge that in. Once you get it lined up right, you can see a tab and a slot right there to get everything locked into place. All right. And the trouble is getting it lined up just right. And again, the camera is gonna add so many more degrees of difficulty. But get that locked in just like that. Close that up and you have the leg in the right position to then bring 
this back up and put the foot back inside here. Yeah, all that just to get that sandwiched in a bit and get everything back together. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other leg and we'll go from there. Now, once you have it in this position with both legs there, let me say this too. Sometimes I don't want to do much off screen, especially the difficult parts, because while it's not a super difficult transformer, I, I kind of want to show you the frustration of doing it, even though, like I said, the camera's going to add a great deal of frustration that you will not have with this sitting in your lap. But anyway, I just, I, I want to show as much as I can to give you the real idea of the transformation. Tab all that together, just like with uh, the train mode you you will end up tabbing these together to keep it locked in place and just like with iceland again you're just going to use these flaps here and here to fill in the gaps for the back of the leg and then you can extend this up to give you that ankle pivot again clean it up a little bit we'll look at it and here you get the right foot uh nice flat surface here i think it's going to look great you got the combiner joint right there everything tabs in well once you get it the gun can of course go here and you have this piece here that will slide in just like before right there and you have the entire right foot. We'll go more over articulation once we get it all combined. I have no idea how tall this is gonna be because I'll bring MP10 back out. Look at this. That is a big old leg. There he is beside Iceland in leg mode. And let me, it's gonna be a little messy for a second, but my review station is fairly large. And that is going to be a big ass robot. So there you go. That's my review of Moon Studios MS-01 Dark Knight. Uh, let me start with what I do not like about this figure. And, and it's not much, but it is important. One big thing is the same thing I didn't like about Iceland. The lack of ratchets and outward movement of the leg. The tolerances on this one are so much tighter than Iceland and the foot transformation uh, is it's cumbersome it's sloppy and there's just no way around it you can do it it just ain't pretty one of the biggest things that I do not like about this figure in particular I didn't show and I'm gonna show you right now the bottom of the feet are the front of the train that is just asking look, I already have a paint scratch there it's just asking for paint to get scratched not a big deal if you're going to put this in in combined mode and be done with it but leaving this thing in robot mode with all that paint just there on the ground i do not like that whatsoever now let's get into the positives it's absolutely beautiful i love that it looks close enough to a the uh, original design of the character b it looks enough like Iceland that you can tell they used a lot of the same engineering, but they also changed just enough. Some of it, not for the better. I don't like the hands going in here. It's uncomfortable to do when you transform it uh, and you feel like something, you, you feel like you're doing something you shouldn't do rather than how the in Iceland, the hands just folded over. Okay, that's enough negative. It's a beautiful figure. Train mode is gorgeous, albeit a panely nightmare once things start getting around but once you get it where they need to be it looks beautiful it's going to be a huge train when it's all said and done in a massive combiner and I, I know i had some negatives there but i have no regrets about getting this it's absolutely beautiful just not perfect it has its problems guys thanks so much for hanging out with me i really do appreciate it if you enjoyed this video or for god's sake that transformation was a mess just subscribe out of pity. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and of course, be on the lookout for more reviews coming soon. Subscribe to the other Rejecticons at Sardo Noons by 82, Larkin's Lair, and Inutabi. Their links are in the description below, along with any other important links you have. By the way, I picked this up from thechosenprime.com. I'll have a link in the description for that as well. If you want to pick yours up, 
Until next time, this is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut.